Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to finish this little envelope folio journal. And I have just gone ahead and tore some paper that I'm going to put in for the signatures. This is just some coffee dyed paper. Went ahead and tore it the size that I need, and I just did three of them. Now, somebody asked me, do you still have to put the extra score line in here? even if you're not going to add any signatures. Yes, because when you fold this over, you want to have room in there in case you add any embellishments or anything. You don't want it to fold tight up. You see what I'm saying? You want a little bit of a spine on there. So yeah, go ahead and do your score lines anyway, your extra score lines. Okay. Now, what I did on the outside, I went ahead and put some... Oh, well, I don't know where it went. Hmm. This is Tyvek. Here it is. This is Tyvek tape. Now, if you don't have Tyvek tape, you can use those envelopes that you get in the mail sometimes. You can't tear them. That's Tyvek. Just cut those up and use them. I've got some of those cut up somewhere, but I couldn't find them, so I just used my tape. I put a little of that down through there because this is going to get lots of folding and lots of pressure there and then i'll cover that with some lace so i put it on all three of the spines i didn't have to put any on here because i have that extra paper there but i did go ahead and put some washi on the inside and it looks like i'm gonna have to put some tape i mean some glue under that because it's not wanting to stick down i could just take it up and put some tie back there but well, now it's stuck back down, so I don't know if it's going to stick or not. We'll worry about it in a little bit. If it don't, we'll put glue under it. Or I'll change it out for Tyvek. Now, these are where you have your pockets. If you want to cut a little pull in there, you can. I'm going to go ahead and just cut a small one in each one. Maybe I won't get my head in the shot. Let's see. And you could have cut these before if you had wanted to. Just gonna do mine now. It's not a biggie. You got four nice big pockets. Okay. All right. We've got those cut. So now. I'm going to put a signature here, one here, and one here. So let me grab my ruler because I am going to mark where I want my holes in here. That will just help me since this is a little bit smaller than what I normally deal with. <coughs> Alright, so we know we want one right there. That'll be the center. And then I think I'm going to go out, let's see, one and three quarters, and then I'll go one and three quarters over here. And then you want them to be right in the center of that little, of your little spine there. So I'm just going to move my holes over a little bit. And then I'm going to mark these two just like that. And then we'll punch our holes. So I'm going to stitch my signatures in. You don't have to. You can glue them in or you can put them in like a Midori style. Whatever you want to. But I'm going to stitch mine. Alright. All of my holes are marked. I'm going to grab my little tool here and see if I can use this. I think I can. Oh yes. I can use it. Alright. Let's see. Where is... Now somebody told me, they sent me a message and said there was no way that they could use this because it didn't have a place that you could punch your holes. Well, yes it does. You just got to look. It's in there. <laughs> I use mine all the time. Right there. It's one. And then I just slide it down, or you could just use that same hole. I just slide it down to the next hole and punch it like that. And I'm using this. You wouldn't have to use this, but I'm using this because I do have that Tyvek in there. That way I know I get my holes all the way through. 
So see, I'm using this to punch my holes. You can too. If they're different than the way this thing is made, all you have to do is mark your holes, slide it back and forth, and it works. I've done every style folio and journal on this, and it works fine on all of them. There we go. All of our holes punched. Now we have these in stock. I think we, we're running low on them. Benji's been out of town. Hadn't got any more cut. I think we have maybe four more in stock. So if you want one, grab it. I wouldn't take anything for mine. I love it. Now, what? I think I'm just going to use white because I'm going to put some lace on there and I don't want um, and I don't want my thread to show through to the lace. Okay, all my needles are buried. Hold on. Let me dig one out. You guys are not supposed to be in here. What are you doing in there? Y'all are not supposed to be in there. This is for needles. Needles, needles. Okay. I'm going to punch these the same identical way as I did those. I am going to... Now, you could just use a template and do it all at one time if you want to. This is fine with me. I am just going to line my ruler up, find my center point, which looks like it's right there. Pin, pin, pin. And then I'm going to put my little mark right there. And I'm going to go down an inch and three quarters, put another one there, inch and three quarters, another one there. <coughs> Now, I'm going to clip these together just so that they don't slide when I punch my hole. Okay. And then I'll put this back in there. Mind my little dot up with that center hole. Punch through. Move it down a little bit. There we go. And we'll go ahead and stitch this signature in. And then I'll put the other two in, probably off camera, because they're going to be put in the same identical way. I'm going to put my white thread on my, through my needle. And I don't cut my thread off, because I usually if I do, I waste it. Now, I'm just going to line up my holes. And it looks like they're lined up right there. Since this is not a very thick signature, it's pretty easy to line them up. There we go. And then I'll come back through here. And then through here. Now I think I put five pages in each one of these signatures. And, you know, that's going to be 20 pages all together front and back. So that's going to be plenty to do your little journaling on or whatever you might have to do. Let's see, I need to go this way because I don't want to waste quite that much thread. Cut that off and then pull it tight. And you need to make sure that your thread is on opposite sides of that one that goes down the middle. See there? Can't even see it. And then I tie a double knot. And you can leave the thread hanging down if you want and Put some little beads or something on there but since my journal is going to be kind of small i don't want to put any extra bulk in it so i'm going to leave mine like that so there is my signature in there right there that'll fold over that way so i'm going to go ahead and put these other two in and then we'll come back and we'll finish this little guy up and he'll be he'll be done all right we have all of our signatures in there all three of them that fold that folds that way, that folds that way, that one folds like that, and then that comes over to close. Now, I did add two more magnets on here, so I've got three magnets. 
just because I wanted to make sure that that stayed closed and didn't wouldn't pop open because it got kind of full but you still got lots of journaling room in there and things that you can do and if it if something happened and it did get a little bit fuller and you it wouldn't close right just put an extension on this and then move your magnets that's all that you would need to do but you know if you slide it back it closes fine it's not a problem okay I wanted something to go on the outside I don't know what this is some of the ephemera that came in the kit oh I like that one that one looks cute let's do that one I just dumped all of my ephemera out I don't like to dig in those bags so I always dump it out and then I put it in my ephemera holder so I think we'll put that one there but yeah if if something happened and the magnets didn't hold exactly right if you added you know lots of things in there you can always move the magnets down just extend extend this piece and then move the magnets down but I think with three of them it's gonna hold fine not had a problem with something like that so far all right put that on there and now I'm gonna put some trim some lace on my spines all right I think I'll use this lace let me see what it looks like yeah wanted something a little bit subtle I didn't want anything real bold so that will work right there Let's go ahead and add the ones inside first. Well, they're not inside, they're outside. I'm going to lay it down like this, hopefully, and put these on. Let's see if I can see what side's what. Okay, so that's how our trim is going to look, and I'm going to go ahead and add this same trim to these other two. We have all of our lace on and I'm gonna leave these open for a little while just because I don't want to stick into my pages so I'm gonna leave it open until that glue dries then we can close it up all right let's close it up it's not completely dry I can always open it back up once I get finished with the video just don't want my pages to stick together all right there we go finished we've got our lace on there the front cover I put this little flower on there and then on the inside you can do lots of decorating too if you want I'll probably use some more of these little frames and tags and things and put on there so I won't do that on camera because you guys know how to decorate that one would look cute there so I'll probably do that and do a little bit of decorating and then this guy will be finished he'll be ready to go all right that is it guys for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button don't forget that we have that that uh, 300 gift card giveaway coming up but uh, you have to be subscribed to win we will talk to you guys later bye bye